In this video today we will see how to create and use a Google form. Now you can use Google form for different purposes such as for collecting opinions, for surveys, etc. But in this video I will use Google form to create a simple general knowledge quiz for students. So let me open Chrome and uh, here I will search for this website google.com slash forms slash about you can search in google for google forms also let me open this website and let me tap on this button go to google forms i'm using mobile to create google form but if you have a laptop or a computer it will be much easier so this is the form and there are two ways you can create a form either you can create a form from scratch or else you can also use template to create a google form so for me i'm going to create from scratch so this is the google form here so what i have to do is i have to give a name to this google form so since i'm going to create a quiz so i will just write here gk quiz and for description i can just write this is a quiz form something like this one and here there are questions you can ask and if you see here there are other options also either you can use this radio button for the forms you can use check boxes for the forms or else you can also use drop down for the form me i will use the radio button so let me write a question here so this is the question and the answer of this one i can write here in this option and if you have to give another choice just select this one and then you can write another choice also so i have written two choices if you want you can tap here and add another choice so what i have done here is i have two choices given for this question and if you see there is an option here required enable it so that the person who is going to fill this form has to enter the answer otherwise they cannot submit the form now if you want to write another question just tap on this plus icon here and you will see there is a place to write another question also so let me write another question and just give the option here tap on this one to have another option so i have two questions and two options and let me enable this required button so that the person who is going to fill this form has to answer this question also now if you want to add a picture just tap on this image icon here and you can insert image if you have saved it in your google drive or else you can upload you can go to camera for me i will go to google image search and then let me look for an image so let me search for an image here and then search for apple so let me include this image insert and if you go down here you will see the image so let me write the question here which company's logo is this picture if you go down you have the option to write and then another option here so apple or samsung and then required so i have created a form and if i have to preview it i will tap on these three dotted icons preview so this is the preview of the form that i have created so let me close this one and then let me go to the form and let us again tap on this more options and let us go to this settings now there are some settings which you can use if you want collect emails resp response receipt so once you activate these options what happens is the person who is going to submit this form can enter their email address so that you can receive the email address and there is another option here requires sign in limit to one response that means they can submit the form only once they cannot submit twice and if you want you can let them edit after submit or else let it be uncheck because most of the times the forms should be submitted only once and there is another option see summary chart and text responses if you want you can activate these options and after that what you do save so once you have created this form now the next step after you create a form is to forward this form to the persons so that they can fill up the form so tap on this send icon here and you can either send 
this form via email or link etc let me send it by email and let me send it to the person and then after that you can type a subject whatever you like and if you want this form to include in the email you can select this option include form in email and then send so what you have done is you have forwarded this form to a person now let me show you how this form will be received so this is the form and this is the form which is attached in the email and if i have to fill up this form i will go to this option fill out in google forms so this is the form and email address is required so let me enter the email address so you can either let the person fill the email address or if you don't want then you can disable this option in settings which i had shown you before then i will select the answer here what is the full form of usa united states of america which company's logo is this picture is for apple and if you want you can select this option send me a copy of my response so that it will go to your email address and then submit so the form has been submitted and now the person who has created this form they will see one response let me go to this response tab and they will see the response if somebody has filled up the form you can see this person has filled up the form so in this way if more number of person will fill up the form then the number of responses will be increased so in this way you can create a google form and then use thank you for watching this video please like and share this video if you found it helpful also click on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos for free